Welcome to the session on clause number 4 of ISO IEC 17025-2017. Title of the clause is General Requirements. This clause is divided in two subclauses. Subclause 4.1 provides requirements on impartiality whereas subclause 4.2 is dedicated to confidentiality. These subclauses will be discussed in details for its requirements in following slides. As per the standard, impartiality means presence of objectivity. In simple words, it is freedom from conflict of interest for laboratory activities which adversely influence test or calibration result validity. In other words, impartial means conducting laboratory activities without any bias. A few examples of impartialities are one managers putting pressure on technicians to deviate from testing procedures to get better turnaround time or to overlook adverse results that will upset a client. Two. Undue pressure would also include providing financial incentives for the number of tests conducted. Now let us discuss the requirements. The Clause 4.1 which is dedicated to impartiality has five subclauses. As per the subclause 4.1.1, all laboratory activities shall be conducted impartially. Organization structure of laboratory and laboratory process to perform laboratory operations shall be managed in a way to safeguard impartiality. For example, if laboratory is a part of big organization, laboratory head shall not report to the production head from where samples are being received. Subclause 4.1.2 requires the demonstration of laboratory management commitment towards impartiality. Subclause 4.1.3 says that laboratory is responsible to maintain impartiality in all activities they perform and shall not allow any type of commercial, financial or other pressures to compromise impartiality while performing laboratory operation. As per the subclause 4.1.4 laboratory shall proactively identify all potential risks to impartiality on regular basis. These risks may arise internally from the laboratory activities or laboratory personnel or may arise externally from interested parties or context in which laboratory operates. Presence of risks and nature of the risk may vary from laboratory to laboratory depending on its operational context. However, these risks are not necessarily available. A few examples are, one business relationships between the laboratory and the client. Two family or personal relationships between people in the laboratory who will be involved in laboratory activities and the client. Subclause 4.1.5 advocates that, whenever there is risk to impartiality and is identified, laboratory shall take all preventive measures and implement an appropriate operation controls proactively to eliminate or minimize the potential risk. Subclause 4.2 provides the requirements to maintain the confidentiality. Prior getting into the details of requirements, let us understand its meaning. Confidentiality means the protection of information to ensure that Data is accessible only to authorized personnel and is not made available or disclosed to unauthorized individuals, entities, or processes. Few examples are 1. Not to share customer information in public domain. 2. 
not the release information of one customer to another customer. Clause 4.2 which is about confidentiality is subdivided in four subclasses. Clause 4.2.1 states that, laboratory is legally responsible to manage all information either obtained from the customer or generated while performing the laboratory activities. All customer information shall be considered as confidential. However, for some reason, if laboratory want to share any information to others or publish in public domain, laboratory shall obtain customer consent in advance. As per the subclause 4.2.2, whenever laboratory is required to release the customer's confidential information to the legal authorities or regulatory bodies, it shall be notified to customer until and unless it is prohibited by law. Whenever laboratory gets any information about customers from other sources, that information shall be kept confidential. Source of the information shall not be shared with customers until and unless agreed with the information provider. Subclause 4.2.4 requires that all personnel connected or involved in laboratory operations such as any committee members, contractors, personnel of external bodies, or individuals acting on behalf of laboratories shall also maintain the confidentiality.